Okay, what is the meaning of life? Okay, so there are many levels that we need to address in answering that question. At the most superficial level, I'd say there is no meaning to life. We just live our lives, we're born, we, we remain unconscious for most of our lives, we have a family, we go to work, we get a gold watch, and then we die. <laughs> so, uh, in, at, for me, at that level, um, there is no meaning to that life. It's just live your life and hopefully enjoy it as much as possible. Then there's another level down, which would be actually to live more purposefully in the world, to know who you are and what you want, and to really open up into love, to let love be a, f a foundation of your life, to, to let love and presence be a foundation of your life, to be loving and kind to to people, not because you're looking for any reward or anything back, but it's just how you choose to be in the world, to be loving, kind, caring. But there's a qualification to that. You can be loving, kind, caring on the surface, act very lovingly and very kindly, but underneath you could be a raging inferno, right, with all these repressed feelings. But in any event, I'd say one of the meanings of our lives is to open into love, compassion, kindness caring, to take responsibility for ourselves. Then we go down one more level, and, and that's the meaning of our life, where we all have an incredible opportunity in this lifetime, which really gives tremendous meaning to our lives. And that is to recognize that we're all lost in a dream, a story, a dream, an illusion, an illusion of separation. And so we go to a much deeper level of meaning in our lives if we begin to address that issue. Wow, I'm lost in a dream. What is the nature of that dream? Who am I in that dream? Who have I become? What's keeping me in the dream? How do I liberate myself from this dream? And then, who am I when I'm liberated from the dream? So for me, now we're really at a much deeper level of meaning of life. Then if you manage to free yourself from that story, from that dream, from the world of the mind, and you open up into presence, then there are levels and levels of presence. So as you become more and more deeply present, a deeper meaning to your life uh, reveals itself. It doesn't reveal itself with your mind or with your understanding. It just begins to reveal itself. So uh, at that deeper level, now you've opened into presence, you've freed yourself from the dream, you've recognized it as illusion. Now you're, open, now you're opening into the oneness. You might even begin to feel the li and sense the living presence of God in all things present, as a presence. A presence that is in you and that is in everything that is of the present moment. And of course, at the very deepest level, there's the experience of oneness with God and heaven on earth. I, I'm not sure there's anything beyond that, but that's a pretty deep meaning to our lives. There is one other aspect to, to that. Uh, the eternal dilemma of oneness. God and oneness. Isness. Is that one cannot know itself. So there's a level that we can awaken to where we literally become existence knowing itself through you. Isness knowing itself through you. God knowing God's self through you. And all of this is available to us if we're willing to be incredibly honest about our humanness in order to reveal and open into our godliness. Not trying to fix our humanness or judge our humanness, but simply reveal it. Reveal it before presence. Take a look at this presence. Take a look at this God, who I've become in my humanness. One more thing I could say is that we are so much more than anything we can possibly imagine with our minds. We are of the mystery. 
the mystery unfolding. And a part of that mystery unfolding will be the awakening of human consciousness on this planet. The question is when.